Welcome to part two of our PCB enclosure tutorial. We ended up part one by creating the PCB enclosure outline and creating the standoffs. In this session, we'll now generate the stabilizing standoffs as well as the bottom of the enclosure. From the browser, I'll expand and enable the sketches that were created in part one. Now, I'll select the extrude tool from the ribbon menu and select the offset sketches we created for every standoffs. I will assign a value of 8 millimeters for the extrusion and click on every offset. This will make sure that our PCB doesn't slide down to the bottom of the enclosure. For our next step, we will generate the bottom of our enclosure. I will select the extrude tool from the ribbon menu and make sure that I select all the sketches that were drawn on our first part of our tutorial. With all the sketches selected, I will now proceed to extrude them 3 millimeters. With the standoffs and the bottom of the enclosure defined, now it's a great time to begin creating our enclosure walls. From the browser tree, I'll turn off the body option to have easier access to the sketches I'll be using. With the extrude command active, select the sketch intended to be used as the inner wall of our enclosure. I'll assign this a height of 12 millimeters. For reference, I'll enable the body view while extrude and I'll assign the 12 millimeter value for my inner wall. This should give us a height of 2.43 millimeters from the surface of the PCB. This should be enough to clear all the components on the surface of the circuit board. Now, let's use the same procedure we just did to extrude the outer wall of the enclosure. I will hide the body by deselecting it from the browser menu. This will give us easier access to the sketch. Please notice that I'm always using the join option from the extrude dialog box. I'll extrude the outer wall by 15 millimeters. This will give us a 3 millimeter difference between the inner wall and the outer wall, which we will need for our enclosure cover which we're going to cover in our next tutorial. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.